Ba Weep, Grana Weep, Nini Bong. This is Sean Prime Owen here, back with another video review. And today we'll be looking at the Transformers Generations Deluxe, Cla Deluxe Class Goldfire, aka Goldbug. So here is Goldbug in his vehicle mode. And right quick, we'll show off the packaging. Here it is, Goldfire. I do apologize again. You know, it's just Transformers Generations comic book included. It's the same on all of them. And here he is, robot mode. Blasters combined, sports car mode. Technical data and bio, which says, His new armor may be resistant to the laser fire of the Decepticons, but beneath it, Goldfire is the same robot as he's always been. What's known as Bumblebee? He has the chance to lead Cybertron to a new golden age, but now it looks like that chance has passed. With all that he's built seemingly collapsing around him, all Goldfire can do is keep fighting to save all he can. That's beautiful. That's poetry right there. I'm setting this off to the side. Here is Goldfire in his alt mode. Now I do have OMB, I just don't have him transformed to his vehicle mode. Still a show robot mode though, we'll not forget. So here he is in his vehicle mode and I do love this paint scheme quite a lot I mean I I'm a big fan of black and gold bumblebees but I think I'm coming more of a fan of gold and black bumblebees now instead of black and gold uh, but I've heard this thing can get gold plastic syndrome now what that is is something I don't know I think it has something to do with gold plastic and is more frail or something I really don't know what it is probably has something to do with all the swirls and stuff on him, because if you look, he's pretty beat up. Just from being in a box. And on a table. And in a 12-year-old's hand, hands. Sorry. But, um, huh. Here he is. And I'm trying to look at Boombie. Thought I noticed something. One thing to note on this mold is that one wheel is pinned and the other one isn't. Why is that? I don't know. So anyway, let's get down to transformation. I'm going to the camera down for now. First, what you want to do is you want to loosen up the fronts. You want to do this with the slightest of ease. You want to open up the front so you can get to the doors. <sighs> My god. Oh. Well, fine, we'll start. There's one door. There's the other door. Ah. So you want to open up these and rotate them like so. Flip this door in and out. In and out. Come around here to the legs. Flip them both down. Take the feet. I'm gonna flip them back a little bit. <sighs> he wants to argue with me today. Then kind of position them like feet. Take this entire assembly. I'm gonna let the camera work quick so you can see what I'm doing. This entire assembly. Right here. Bring it down, tab it in, around here, flip this back piece in, and here is Goldfire in his robot mode. And very quickly, I'll show off the guns. They're just blue, nothing special. They do combine and peg into his arm. Right quick, look person. Here he is with his former self only. He's actually posed. But yeah, they don't. They're the same mold. Just different head sculpts. Quickly articulation. Nothing at the head. The arms. Full 360. Bent at the elbow. Gun splits in half. I'm just going to unplug the gun. Rotates. A little bit at the waist. Not very much. Legs move forward and back. Rotate the upper thigh, bend at the knee, and they had some foot pivoting. 
Now the chest actually wants to come untabbed a lot, which I kind of don't like. This isn't just on mine, this is on a lot of people's gold fires and MLBs. So yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. And I forgot one more thing. My final thoughts. Should you buy him? Yes, I think he is a good toy to have, except watch out for GPS, his gold plastic syndrome. And I think that's now about all I have to say. So, be sure to check out my channel for the video reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe. And this is Sean Prime, signing out.